basically, uh, I start to train with the water to expand my stomach. Right before the competition, I can drink three gallons in 90 seconds. At, at that time, uh, uh, I know I'm ready. Leading to the competition, I'm training with water to slowly expand, but right before the competition, if it's a, a hot dog competition, right before it, I will try that food, see how it feels, you know. So I, I do working out. And uh, mm. uh, I, eat, I eat healthy. I don't, I don't eat that much. I like sushi, uh, yogurt, and tofu, so uh, I, of, I often eat, eat, eat them. My normal lifestyle when I'm not in season or I'm not training to prepare for a competition is equally just as uh, important to me to be able to stay the way I do physically. So my the most important thing is to stay healthy and um, kind of serious about that in a, in a way where like I going to the gym or uh, making sure that I understand how the body needs to balance supplements and whether that be using supplements from outside to add to my diet. And my diet has, I balance everything from carbs to my proteins to the other things that my body needs. Um, I study it really and I, and I understand it well. So that's very important to me. The better side is that after I'm done, it's much, much, much easier on the body um, somehow. And my record is 159 in 10 minutes, which is the world record for tacos right now. But yeah, it's somehow physically much, much easier on me after. I first learned in a curry restaurant, but then after that, I, that was the moment that I realized I had a talent that other people didn't really have. And from there, I was scouted onto a Japanese national, very popular TV show, they said, why don't we go to this hot dog competition that we found in the United States, in New York City, why don't we see what you can do there? And I came and I realized more and more that if I trained and treated it that way, I could, my talent even got farther and bigger. So first, the water, um, you have to really know the capacity of your own stomach to understand how to use the water. But for dry things like buns, um, it, it helps to have water to help it go down, it makes it very smooth. But you also, the reason why you need to understand the capacity of your stomach is so that you don't intake too much water because then you're taking up too much space with the amount of water you're also intaking, which gives you less room to take the food in. So it's a real strategy balance of understanding exactly how much water you can take, as well as understanding that if you don't take it, it will be harder to eat that food. The question about taste, Taste has nothing to do with it at all, not for me. The minute I begin to think about the taste, what, however, it, any sensation of taste, it's not going to help me. As time, when you're in a competition like that, any taste will get to you at a certain point. So right after the competition actually is not that bad. It's because I've already trained for it. Every If it was a one hour competition or like 60 minutes, it would be a lot more difficult, but but it's only 10 minutes. So as soon as the, it's over, your body is already starting to feel more relief. But then the other part of the question, what happens? Well, if it's very, very hot outside, if the temperature is very hot, it makes it more uh, stressful, like you feel very hot, heavy after it's over. But if the temperature is very cool and it's not too, it's kind of dry, then it's much easier on me even after I'm finished. I've noticed that difference. This is my full-time uh, career, yes. I, I, of course, I compete as an athlete. So I go around and make appearances, talking about sport, and I judge for other things, help create the market, I guess. I have many, th many things, uh, like, like uh, tacos, uh, hamburgers, yeah, I have uh, some Guinness World Records. I have hamburgers, pizza, meatballs, Twinkies, uh, buffalo wings, uh, pasta, tacos, so many things. Yeah.